Congolese pastor Alf Ndongala Lukau says servants of God are going to be shaken by a force from heaven. He says the Lord revealed to him through a prayer session that some men and women of God will quit ministry due to pressure. There are so who are spitting on the church of God, the body of Christ, but specifically beating on those serving God. Men and women of God. And as the wind kept on beating on what seemed to be as a boat, as so many being shaken, what the Lord showed me and led me on my knees for, He said, I should pray that His servant may be strong. So I share this word as a prophetic word for you sons and daughters of God who serve God across the globe. Not only that God say that we should be strong, but they say we should watch. We will begin to see few events happening in the body of Christ. And mainly, we will see men and women of God quitting ministry because of the kind of pressure that is ahead of us men and women of God getting in the place where they say it's not worth the effort anymore he says a number of these men and women of God who are doing ministry will be called home by their maker and it will not be because of their age but because it is a time for the Lord pastors ministers build yourself strong the pressure on my servant will be so much that at will I will harvest most of my deployed agents I said to God no no he said at will I will harvest he used the word I will harvest most of my deployed agent what the spirit of God was saying is that we will see many servants of God many who stood as the image of the very gospel we stand for going back to the Lord we will count men of God dying and they will not die because they did wrong God said because of the pressure, he will harvest many of their souls. Some of them, we will say it is too early. He was still young. Others will say, or oh, maybe it's age. It will be the Lord who will harvest to spare his servant who might not cope with the struggle and the pain that is ahead. As you see a man of God, been taken to glory. We will see a number of them. These end time messages are growing by the day just after another preacher had spoken of how the Lord was going to separate the sheep from the flock.